So hey guys, so welcome back to Smacks Banana. Today we'll be talking about how to use Scrap.tf, which is actually one of the four main core websites you actually use if you really are interested to, uh, to be successful as a trading business for TF2. Okay, so this is how to actually this I'll, sh I'll be actually sharing um, the Scrap.tf. It's actually very useful for beginner traders as well as um, high tier traders. Okay, so let's start off with the main functions of um, Scrap.tf. So, firstly, banking weapons. Uh, Scrap.tf has actually been famous for the um, banking weapons since the start of this website. It really brings me back, honestly, to the days where it actually originally started. If it didn't have so many different types of banking. Okay, so let me really quickly start off with um, weapons. Okay, so let's start off with the beginner traders. How can you actually benefit from it? Okay, so for example, um, I actually started off by selling weapons for one scrap, which actually earned me a weapon profit. Extremely low margin, but it's a start. So, what happens then? So, for example, if let's say you actually have a demand for a weapon, somebody asks, can I have, I'm looking for a base jumper, paying one scrap each. However, you do not have that weapon. So, how can you actually change it for it? You can actually trade a base jumper from the current weapon that you actually currently have. So, I, for example, you let's say have a duplicated weapon. So for example, let's say there's... Um, Sticky jump, rocket jumper, I have tons of them. So I can actually trade it for it and sell it for a one weapon as profit so easily. And you have to, you know, like wait for, you know, 30 minutes just to get the item from Steam. And, you know, it's very slow. So you can actually do this very quickly and get it any item you want as well. So you don't have to be a trader to actually get any weapons to actually try it out and even have it at all as well. Okay, another interesting thing about um, Scrap.tf, you can also sell your weapons as well. As many weapons as you want, you go for, let's say you want to sell the weapon. So for example, I can sell, I want to sell all my rocket jumpers. I don't like rocket jumping. Just for example, I really love, I really do love rocket jumping. Okay, so you can sell all these weapons and trade it for the amount here. As you can see, four scrap. Or if let's say you have um, tons of weapons and especially duplicated ones, you can actually auto scrap it. I can give you an example. I'm going to click auto scrap, which just means that for, let's say for any eight duplicated weapons, I'll be actually changing everything to metal. Okay, so this is an example of what you will actually get. So I currently, as you can see, I got freaking steam bunk. I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. So it's really annoying, but usually it doesn't happen. Usually it's pretty fast. So what actually happens is, um, usually all the duplicated weapons, as you can see, so these are the six duplicated weapons that I have. Um, then they will actually trade it for um, reclaimed metal right there. So for pure. So it's a very simple process rather than, you know, um, you clicking the metal and then change it for scrap metal. It's very tedious, very annoying. So scrap.tf does that for you. Really a time saver. Okay, another example. See, you can see fucking steam trade error. Whenever I use it, don't know why. Okay, so, another, so these are actually the main functions. Buy, sell, auto scrap weapons. The second one would actually be auto smelting metal. So for example, if let's say you have tons of scrap, tons of reclaimed metal, especially from people change, for people who actually want to actually have change. Um, example of change for, for example, let's see of any change. So as you can see, um, let's see, as you can see, he actually offered me this amount of scrap and reclaimed metal. These are called changes, like you know, all these small change. I just call them that. Okay, so you actually have accumulated a lot of these kind of items, and as a result, you really do not have backpack.tf um, space. Okay, this is just an example to show you guys. You can see, see, as I can tell you, so much changes, especially being a trader, is a lot. It takes up a lot of backpack.tf inventory space. And plus, it's still to do it very tediously on TF2 um, website. I mean, on a TF2 game, you know, slowly trusted into refined metal. Extremely slow from weapons to scrap to reclaim to refine. No, you don't want to do that. So, um, this with scrap.tf will actually do it for you so much easily. I wouldn't want to try that. It's I mean, currently, I probably have a Steam bug. So, I really cannot show you to you guys live, but this is how something it will look like. So, that's the main function. See, so now also again the same thing. So from now from many refined metal to just one simple key. So it all really translate back, you know, to really fast and efficient um, website. You can really change everything. It's very simply. So for example, if you want to purchase keys, um, it really save a time saver because once again you don't you don't have to click all the refined metal into the trade and then you know, accept and then give it. Um, to the person and plus you know the person can actually decline the offer or probably take a while before accepting the offer but scrap.tf is immediate once you actually send the offer he will accept it and easily transact through so it's a very fast and time saving uh, method i will actually use on scrap.tf for key banking 
but however, you know, it's very rare to actually see keys available because people actually use this um, function, take this advantage really often because of the huge time saver as well. So that's one thing you should actually know as a trader, it's extremely important. Okay, so these are some of the not very important things that I actually... Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry. Um, one very important thing, especially for high tier traders, as I mentioned before in my selling episode of um, the video. Um, so according to BigBig.tf, you know, certain items actually worth 1.22 refined metal. So you can actually sell, because um, Scrap.tf actually purchased hats for 1.22 refined, and you're not even making a loss, that's the most amazing thing. You're selling on what the BigPack.tf priced at. So, you don't have to save time, you know, classifying on Scrap, um, classifying it on uh, BigPack.tf. We save you a lot of time even to accept the trade offer. But uh, However, do be careful once again though, um, because certain hats may be worth more than 1.22 refined, so it'd be better be careful. Okay, so other than banking of weapons, hats and keys, which I usually use them for, you can also sell your items like paints and tons to them, your unusuals, your skins, your kill streak, your steam games, your strangers, your MVM parts, your trading cards, and more as well. But of course, don't forget is this website is also a profitable. Uh, they also want profit from you as well. So do be very careful, especially with their um profit margins may be pretty high than what other people are expecting, so be careful about that. Okay, another main function of Credit here that I sometimes use, uh, especially during the times where I was actually a um, pretty poor trader, I tend to use raffles to actually gain my capital to actually invest better. Okay, so for example, raffles, you can open um, public raffles. So I actually tend to actually go there, although, hey, although I'm pretty rich, but hey, you know, sometimes they give away free expensive items like professional kill streak, amputator, or unusual. Hey, even a rich trader would actually fall for that, okay? And it's free, of course, 100% profit as well. So you can actually try your luck, you know, especially with all the items here, especially for people who really need um, metal to start their trading, you should totally come here. To, uh, and once you actually got you know an item, you are easily start off with easily one refined metal. So easy to actually start off with your profit immediately. So that's one way. That is one way. Okay, um, that I can actually introduce you. Another way, of course, is also um. So how? Okay, so how do you actually enter a raffle? So very simple. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, let, give me a second. Okay, so let's say I want to enter this guy's raffle. All you have to do, all you have to do, just click onto this called enter raffle. That's it. All you have to do is just enter the raffle. You can comment below, maybe like thank him. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. Very simple. You can thank him in the comments here. And of course, that is very simple. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave the raffle. I'm going to give other people a chance. I'm a nice person. <laughs> okay, so. That's how you enter a raffle. It's very simple. Okay. And of course, there's also something called puzzle raffles, um, which is also pretty difficult to actually guess it and your chances of winning is pretty high if you're able to solve them. So let me give you for example. Okay, fuck this shit. Okay, this, I actually saw this. I, 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 I tried this for 30 minutes staring at this question. I still fucking don't get it. I still can't fucking don't have the fucking answer. So as you can see, the chance of winning is 33.33% uh, I mean sorry. So it's pretty, it's, you have a high chance of winning compared to a free raffle because anybody can just enter and click it. It's so much easier than puzzle raffles. But it's up to you. So this is what uh, this is actually the main function of Scrap.tf is to really help the community back as well. So and of course, there's also the forums, similar to Backpack.tf on um, forums like the community, amazing, amazing community. You can also chat with them as well. And, you know, um, learn something from them as well. So that is what I'll actually do for Scrap.tf. Um, for the main stuff, and of course, you can check it out. And you know, if you have, you know, if you find out something very cool about this website, you know, leave your comments below. I will definitely be glad to hear it as well. So with that, I hope you guys actually learned something um, from this um, one of the four main core websites. And of course, hopefully, it actually benefits you in your TFT trading. With that, see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.